Hi, welcome to Chemistry Quiz 1. I posted this question last year in November 14th in my blog vijayrahavendran.wordpress.com. It has taken quite a while to, to give the solution for this quiz. So let's see if we can solve this using picket fence method. Okay, what we have is the equation for heat transfer coefficient. This problem was taken from the book Chemical Process Principles by Hogan, Watson and Ruggets. And I used this book in my third semester of chemical engineering at uh, NIT Durgapur in India. And, and it says that the heat transfer coefficient, uh, which is the key factor which determines uh, how efficient something is good at transferring heat, is equal to 16.6 .6 multiplied by Cp the specific heat capacity of the substance g which is the mass velocity and d which is the diameter the internal diameter and you can see that the units are all very different so we've got british thermal unit we've got lb which stands for pound fahrenheit um, and the others are, are straightforward hour and second and also we've got inches and feet so what we asked is to convert this equation in in a different form where we've got the cp uh, the heat trans sorry the heat capacity in kilocalories per kilogram per degree celsius the diameter is in centimeters instead of inches the mass velocity g is in si unit which is uh, kg per meter square per second and they want the heat transfer coefficient um, in terms of kilocalories per hour per meter square per degree Celsius change. So we've got H equal to 16.6 Cp G raised to the power 0 0.8 divided by D to the power of 0 0.8 and these are in one kind of units and we are asked to convert this in terms of kilocalories per our meter square degree centigrade okay that's what we want so um, so in this um, system what we're going to say is what is the unit of this number okay so instead of calling it every time a 16.6 I'm going to say this as alpha so I'm going to figure out what's the unit of alpha so to figure out the units of alpha each is in the form of um, BTU per hour feet square degree Fahrenheit. So we've got the unit of H that should be equal to alpha multiplied by the heat capacity which is BTU over pound Fahrenheit multiplied by G which is the mass velocity which is pound to the power of 0 0.8 divided by second to the power of 0 0.8 and feet square to the power of 0 0.8 and we've got diameter I'll just write it here 1 over inch to the power of 0 0.2 so I'm going to find out what's the unit of alpha so the alpha's unit is going to be um, if I so alpha should be equal to pound so I'm going to cross out the Fahrenheit Let's say this Fahrenheit and this Fahrenheit cancels out the BTU and the BTU got a pound here. So pound second to the power 0 0.8 feet to the power of 1.6 inch to the power of 0 0.2. All that goes over there divided by we've got this one here our feet square and this one here pound 0.8 so if I simplify this further what I would get is um, I would get second to the power of 0 0.8 so that one and then I've got feet 1.6 feet to the power of 2 so if I simplify that it'll be feet to the power of minus 0 0.4 and I've got inch to the power of 0 0.2 divided by I've got a pound here and a pound of 0 0.8 so that's going to be pound 0 
divided by r. Okay, so that's the, the unit that was given of alpha, which is 16.6. So what we are asked is if actually to have the alpha in terms of, I'll call this alpha dash. So alpha dash in terms of, we still have the second, we still have that one, second to the power of 0 0.8, but instead of um, feet, we would have meters. So we would like to have meter to the power of 0 0.4. Instead of inch, we would have centimeters. So centimeter to the power of 0 0.2. And instead of pound, we are asked to change to kilograms, so to the power of 0 0.2. And, and it's all right to keep the hour. So that's what we want to arrive at. So we want to convert all these units here to these ones. So I'll use picket fence method here. So you've got inch. Um, so inch to the power of 0 0.2. So let's take one unit at a time. So I know that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. But I've got one inch to the power of 0 0.2 here. So I'm going to put one, the whole thing as 0 0.2. So that takes care of the inch unit. So let's move to the pound. So pound, 0 0.2. One pound is equal to 0 0.454 kilogram. But I've got 0 0.2 to the power of pound. So I'll do that for this as well, 0 0.2 here. So then I can cancel out this one. I can cancel out the pound. So I'll move on to the second. The second remains as it is, so I don't have to do anything to that. And the hour also remains as it is. I'll keep that one together. And then I've got a feet to the power of 0 0.4. So feet to the power of 0 0.4. One feet is 0 0.3048 meters. I've got the 0 0.4th power. So it'll be to the power of 0 0.4 to the power of 0 0.4. So when I pull all of these together, take the power of all the numbers, what I would get is, should be equal to 1.655 in the new units, centimeter to the power of 0 0.2, kg to the power of 0 0.2, second to the power of 0 0.8, divided by m to the power, the meter to the power of 0 0.4, an hour. And this is, the the unit of our new alpha and if we multiply this by the old alpha which was 16.6 then we get the new heat transfer coefficient in terms of the new unit which is 1.655 multiplied by 16.6 and then this whole thing here so that will be the, the new heat transfer coefficient i hope it was not too tedious um, um, and good luck uh, in going over this problem. Thank you for listening and watching.